In this video, we'll take a closer look at how 3D printing has transformed the manufacturing industry, from its early days as a prototyping tool to its current role as a key player in mass production. Prototyping with 3D printing When 3D printing technology first emerged in the 1980s, it was primarily used for prototyping. Engineers and designers used 3D printers to create physical models of their designs, allowing them to test their concepts and make necessary adjustments before moving on to traditional manufacturing methods. This early adoption of 3D printing for prototyping helped to speed up product development timelines and reduce the cost of creating physical prototypes. Instead of spending time and money on tooling and molding, engineers and designers could create a prototype in-house using a 3D printer. However, Early 3D printers were expensive and had limited capabilities. They were slow and could only print small parts, which meant that they were not suitable for mass production. Advancements in 3D printing technology In recent years, advancements in 3D printing technology have made it possible to print larger, more complex parts at a faster pace. 3D printers are now capable of printing with a wide range of materials, including plastics, metals, and even biological materials like living cells. These advancements have made it possible for 3D printing to move beyond the prototyping stage and into the realm of mass production. Mass production with 3D printing. One of the most significant advantages of 3D printing in mass production is the ability to create complex geometries that are impossible with traditional manufacturing methods. This allows for the creation of lightweight structures that can reduce material usage and ultimately, lower costs. Another advantage of 3D printing and mass production is the ability to create custom parts with ease. Instead of requiring expensive tooling and molds, 3D printing allows for parts to be printed on demand, which can be a huge cost savings for manufacturers. In addition, 3D printing allows for the creation of small batches of products quickly and cost-effectively. This makes it possible for manufacturers to respond to changes in demand and customize products for specific customers or markets. Challenges of 3D printing and mass production While 3D printing has many advantages in mass production, there are also some challenges to consider. One of the biggest challenges is the speed of 3D printing. Although 3D printers have come a long way in terms of speed, they are still slower than traditional manufacturing methods for large-scale production. Another challenge is the cost of 3D printing. While 3D printing can be cost-effective for small batches of products, it can be more expensive than traditional manufacturing methods for larger production runs. Finally, there is the issue of quality control. While traditional manufacturing methods have well-established quality control processes in place, 3D printing is still a relatively new technology, and there is less standardization when it comes to quality control. One of the most exciting aspects of 3D printing technology is its potential to disrupt traditional supply chain models. With traditional manufacturing methods, products are typically produced in a centralized location and then shipped to distribution centers and retail outlets around the world. This can result in long lead times, high transportation costs, and a significant carbon footprint. With 3D printing, products can be produced on demand and closer to the point of consumption which can reduce transportation costs and lead times. This is particularly beneficial for companies that produce a wide range of products or need to respond quickly to changes in demand. Another advantage of 3D printing is its ability to create complex shapes and geometries that are impossible with traditional manufacturing methods. This has opened up new possibilities in industries such as aerospace, healthcare, and automotive where lightweight and high-strength materials are critical. In the aerospace industry, for example, 3D printing is being used to produce lightweight parts that can reduce fuel consumption and improve performance. In healthcare, 3D printing is being used to create custom prosthetics and implants that fit perfectly to the patient's body. And in the automotive industry, 3D printing is being used to produce complex components such as engine parts and brake calipers. As 3D printing technology continues to evolve, we can expect to see even more exciting developments in the future. For example, researchers are exploring the use of 3D printing to produce organs and tissues for transplantation, which could revolutionize the healthcare industry. In addition, 3D printing is being used to create sustainable products and reduce waste. 
By producing products on demand and using materials more efficiently, 3D printing has the potential to reduce the environmental impact of manufacturing. Despite its many advantages, there are also some challenges associated with 3D printing. One of the biggest challenges is the lack of standardization in the industry, which can make it difficult to compare different 3D printing technologies and materials. In addition, the quality of 3D printed products can vary widely depending on the technology, materials, and printing parameters used. Another challenge is the intellectual property IP, implications of 3D printing. As 3D printing technology becomes more accessible, there is a risk that individuals or companies could use it to produce counterfeit products or infringe on the IP rights of others. This is a challenge that will need to be addressed as the technology continues to mature. One of the most significant benefits of 3D printing is its ability to produce highly customizable products. This has opened up new opportunities for companies to offer personalized products to their customers. For example, eyewear companies can use 3D printing to create custom frames that fit the unique facial features of each customer. Jewelry companies can use 3D printing to produce one-of-a-kind pieces based on the customer's design specifications. Another area where 3D printing is making a significant impact is in the production of spare parts. With traditional manufacturing methods, it can be difficult and expensive to produce small quantities of spare parts for older equipment. 3D printing, however, allows companies to produce spare parts on demand, reducing the need for large inventories and improving maintenance processes. Another exciting application of 3D printing technology is in the field of bioprinting. Bioprinting is the process of using 3D printing to create living tissue and organs. This technology has the potential to revolutionize the field of medicine by producing organs for transplantation and developing new drugs and therapies. 3D printing is also being used to produce sustainable products and reduce waste. With traditional manufacturing methods, a significant amount of material is wasted during the production process. 3D printing, however, allows for the precise use of materials, reducing waste and improving sustainability. In conclusion, 3D printing technology has come a long way since its early days as a prototyping tool. It is now being used in a wide range of applications, from producing personalized products to creating complex designs and organs. As the technology continues to evolve, we can expect to see even more exciting developments in the future. Thanks for watching this video on 3D printing and its impact on manufacturing. We hope you found this information informative and thought-provoking as you can see. 3D printing technology is transforming the way we produce products from customized eyewear and jewelry to complex aerospace and medical components. It's also making a significant impact on sustainability and reducing waste in the manufacturing process. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel for more videos on the latest trends and innovations in technology. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.